West. We got to go on up. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see all of you. This is a Ladybird special. We're glad to be here. I don't introduce to you, but I present to you your distinguished congressman, Bob Sykes. Here's Bob. Thank you, Hale Boggs, Majority Whip of the House of Representatives. My good friends and my neighbors, it's with a great deal of pleasure that we welcome here today a charming, lovely, gracious lady, a great lady in her own right. I am honored and privileged to present to you the first lady of the land, the wife of the President of the United States, Mrs. Lyndon B. Johnson. my friends of Chipley. I, I woke up in this morning to, to good news. Your newspaper, your newspaper and a beautiful welcome to your town and then I walk out to such a bright sunshiny day and so many folks of, of Florida here to say hello to me. Thank you one and all. <laughs> has worked for 24 years in the Congress of the United States and a large part of it with your Senator Smathers, your Senator Holland, and your Congressman Bob Sykes, who've worked so hard for Florida and whom he tries so much to help. I want to say to you folks of the South that we, we care so much for it and we feel so close to it that I wanted to say to anybody down here who is our friend and who is working for us and who is helping us that we appreciate you, we value you, we need you. <laughs> now, there are some who would have us ignore the South that think that we can win without it. Maybe we can but we have too much respect for it to take it for granted and too much love for it to ignore it. I, I like that one too. That's mine too. The qualifications my husband has to offer for the job that he seeks is 12 years in the House of Re Representatives, 12 in the Senate, three as your vice president, and these last ten hard, arduous months during which he has tried with all the strength and all the heart and all the intellect that he has working for you, the people of this country, to preserve peace in this world, the most important issue that faces us, to keep this country on a steady course of economic prosperity. And don't you think it has been? Yeah. And, 
began to search for new ways to help those Americans still in need. He's a forward-going man, a looking-ahead man, and I'm proud of the Rural Renewal Project that is planned for this county. I thank you all. God bless you. Because I see so many young people out here, I want you all to meet our youngest daughter, Lucy Bain. I just want to tell you all how great and what a privilege it is for me to be here today and how thrilled I am to see so many young people taking such an active interest. And I just hope the kind of enthusiasm that we have shown today we can channel and put into an active, effective, and hopefully successful campaign this year. For not so long from now, we are the ones who are going to have to take the reins of government into our hands. And what happens today will depend on the kind of, of a government that we will have when we have to take up the reins of government ourselves. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have aboard your distinguished governor, Ferris Bryant. Your United States Senator George Smathers, your Congressman Claude Pepper, Billy Matthews, uh, Commissioner of Agriculture, uh, Charlie Bennett, the wives of many of our Congressmen, the Secretary of Commerce, Secretary Hodges, and Governor Buford Ellington, and thank you very much for letting us come to your lovely city. Goodbye and God bless you.